Making your own custom avatar for VR chat is a great way to express yourself and a good way to be creative. It's also one of my favorite ways to stay connected to my friends. We're gonna learn a super simple way to make your own avatar. Step one is to download Vroid Studio. Vroid Studio is a free, easy to use 3D modeling program that is super beginner friendly. This is where we're gonna build an avatar together. If you're looking for model ideas or trying to find a specific aesthetic for your character, I recommend using a site like Pinterest to collect inspirational images. Make sure that your character design is your own and that you're not stealing someone else's design. If you happen to be an artist, you can even build your own character sheet and make a design based off that. Here's a character sheet I'm personally working on right now that's not quite done that I hope to eventually turn into a VR chat avatar. You can also just hop into VRED Studio with none of that and see what inspiration comes to mind as you pick and select how you want your avatar to look. Let's go build a character together. All right, so so we're gonna start with our character here. Here's the references that I chose. So the first one I found was this one, which kind of inspired me a lot. I really liked her glasses and the way her hair was laying. So that's the one I started with. And I sort of just built off of that using Pinterest, pulling different elements. And I liked this blue and white with the blonde combo. And then I know that Beard Studio has like a converse, so that will be a good shoe. And there's some other elements in here for different hairstyle possibilities, color to add into the hair, some different eye shapes I can experience and play with. Let's start building based off of this. So once you're in VRED Studio, and also as a side note, this program here is called Pureref. I'll leave a link in the description of how to download it. It is free and you can also donate to the creator. So we're just gonna click create new once your VRED Studio is launched. And for me, I'm going with the feminine model. So to start, I'm just gonna pick a face that kind of resembles this shape closely. I'm gonna say this one probably is pretty close to what I'm looking for. We may want it a little bit pointier. Let's try this one. Yeah, this one looks pretty good. Next, I'm gonna go to the eye sets. Just click there and choose one that's similar to these eyes or again, I can take my own direction and kind of look at some of these other pieces over here. I think I'm gonna go with this eye here. While we're here, so just if I go to the right side here, I can edit them even a little bit more. Moving in VRED Studio, use middle mouse button to scroll around and hold down alt key on your keyboard and right mouse click to rotate the model. I'm gonna bring them down a little Move them in slightly and for the eyes, I'm gonna pull them down because that droopiness kind of gives that cuter look. And for the eye slant, let's pull these down. I actually don't want this to be too far down so I'm gonna just put a little bit higher. So these are all just sliders you can mess with and kind of find what you're looking for. Um, pulling these eyes up will be good because it'll make her look happier. Okay, and next I'm gonna go to the irises and let's take a look at the different ones that they have. You can also texture your own as well if you have a program like Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop. I think I'm gonna choose these like really spacey, sparkly ones. And you can choose the eye color here too. So let's go ahead and choose, and yeah, do like a lavender blue, a periwinkle maybe. And then we're gonna go to eye highlights and you can choose the shapes of those as well. I'm gonna go with these ones. And now next we can go to the Solera's, which is the eye white in the back. And I like this middle one because it gives it a little bit of shading, adding to a little bit more realism that I want. And you can change this color too over here by just clicking on that dot. Um, if you wanted to go with another color, I think even like a light blue. The blue will be nice, like a nice kind of like light blue. Okay, perfect. Then we'll go to the eyebrows next. I kind of liked the circle eyebrows, so I think I'm gonna go with those for this model. And we're gonna want her hair to be most likely blonde, so I'm gonna just switch those eyebrows. I'm gonna bring them a lot closer if I can. And you can adjust the length here. I'm just gonna shorten them a bit. Okay, great. We might change those later too. She's looking a little alien, alien-like right now. Next, I'm gonna go to the eyelid. For the eyelid, let's check a few different ones here. I actually do like this one, so I'm just gonna stick with it and I'm fine with the color. So next, let's go to the eyeliner. And I might do a few more eyelashes. Let's just see what they look like. Okay, I like this one the best. And I'm gonna change the eyeliner to be more in the black area. And then we'll go to eyelashes, which we already have our eyelashes. I'm pretty happy with those. I'm just gonna make them a little bit darker. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the nose. I like this little bulby nose. You can change the nose size, the width, all sorts of different things. So there's a lot of customization in here, even though you're not making the model necessarily from complete scratch, you really have a lot of freedom to do so much. Okay, next we'll do the mouth. I'm just gonna do that slight tilt up. And for the mouth, I think I wanna make it a little bit more like a dark pink. 
I'm gonna make the mouth a little bit smaller because I think it's gonna make it a little bit more cutesy. You can even throw in a vampire tooth if you want. Okay, next let's go to the mouth inside. Okay, after mouth inside, I'm just gonna skip that one. We don't need that. And then we're gonna do lips. I'm gonna use the super soft one. I actually like this orange color. Let's leave it. And then next is cheeks. So I'm gonna get a little bit more of like a pink, a pink, like orangey red there. Let's go to our skin. Okay, face paint. This is pretty fun. Again, you can make your own textures, literally whatever you want on the character's face. Here's a band-aid. You can do like your own band-aid texture too. All right, there's many different options. I kind of like these stripes, so I'm actually am gonna go with those. And next is the expression editor, which is where you can change what the actual expressions look like if you want to see like this one, her eyebrows are kind of going crazy. So I'd maybe want to change that one. Okay, next let's go to hairstyle. And I'm gonna try to find bangs that match. Similarly, you can make the hair from complete scratch as well. I'm just gonna be using a preset here to save time. I actually kind of like this short look. I'm gonna do like a, a pinky, a pinky blonde, I think. In the highlight color, we can make blonde. I might go back to these eyebrows then. Let's go to back to the eyebrows and I'm gonna change the color to match with the hair. You can click the eyedropper tool and just pick from colors around the character, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we'll go back to the hairstyle. Let's see what else. Extensions, if we want to add anything else. I'm just going to experiment here, see what else we have. So I might throw those buns in there. That looks pretty cute. Love that. Then we'll go to the side, see if there's any extra pieces we want to add. I don't think so. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And as we can see, the base hair is a different color back there. I'm on base hair here. I'm just going to click the eyedropper tool and go ahead and eyedropper the hair there. Well, it looks like your eyebrows changed back for some reason, so I'm just gonna fix that real quick. Let's do like a darker, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this as a basic hairstyle. Again, there's a lot you can do to create the hair custom. I'm just gonna stick with the presets for this video so we can save some time. Um, but next we'll go to the body. You can edit all the different types of the body here with like the height, everything's like that. I'm gonna make her a little bit shorter. Um, we're gonna do, head size. You can make like a chibi model if you wanted this way. So that's pretty cool. Just going to put that back to normal. Okay. I feel pretty good about that. So next let's go to the outfit and to match the outfit vibe that I was going for, I'm going to go to tops and it looks like we do have that shirt and we're going to want to have, mm, we might switch to this one to have that shorter look. Let's see. Let's take a look here. I want to look at this one too. We do want some baggy sleeves. So I'm kind of looking for what's going to work with that. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to want to switch to this this shirt and then I'm going to go in there and do some texture on the actual shirt. But let's just get the base so far. So I'm going to go to the bottoms and then let's choose a skirt. This is going to be a pretty standard skirt. Uh, we're going to switch to this one here. So we're going to want to change the texture of the skirt too. So I'm actually just going to leave that for now. We'll come back to it. So I'm going to go back to the shirt, the tops and click edit texture. And I'm going to erase some of this shirt because it's a little too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the eraser tool and make my brush bigger by clicking the brush left and right bracket keys on my keyboard and I'm just going to be erasing this and we're going to want to do the same with the back of the shirt and I do want it to kind of tuck in so I'm just going to erase like some of these edges here and see how that looks. All this is a lot of experimenting to see how you can get it to look right. So let's see. Okay it's kind of giving it this like croppy feeling which I'm okay with. It actually looks decent and that's about what I'm going for. I think I want to go a little bit shorter. So we're just going to erase a little bit more here. Okay, that looks to be about a good size there. So I'm just going to go ahead now and we're going to go ahead and click the X and then click as save as new item. That will take us out of our texturing mode, but still save some of what we've worked on. And these are some other textures that I've done in the past. Okay, now we're going to go back to bottoms and check out the skirt. And let's just try a base skirt color here. You should have a default one you can choose. And I just found a skirt that aligns a little bit more in the custom items here, this like tighter skirt. So I'm actually going to use this one and then we're going to click edit texture and I'm going to make my brush bigger. And again, I'm on the eraser tool up here and then I'm just going to erase this to be a bit shorter. Probably around here is going to be good. Looks like we want to even that up a bit more. Okay, great. And now we're going to change the base color to match more of that blue that we're looking for. Okay, I will come back and make these even more detailed. So we'll just click X, click save as new item. And now let's go to the socks. I didn't add socks on the board, but I think that'll be cute if we have 
some socks. So I'm just gonna go with these shorter ones here and then I'm gonna go to the shoes. And there should be white Converse in here. There is, perfect. And we're gonna change the color of these guys as well. So I'm just gonna go to edit texture. Looks like I will have to edit this in a drawing program to change the color to what I want, which is fine. So I'm just gonna click X out of here and close that one without saving. Okay, next I'm just gonna check the accessories. Add the accessories, we're gonna do glasses, thin, and we can change the frame shape and size over here. So I wanna get these really cylinder, circle, circular like, and that looks to be pretty close to what she has. And I'm gonna go ahead and do an eyedropper tool and change these. I'm gonna change them actually to a white frame. We're gonna change the temple a little bit. Okay, awesome, that's about where I want them. And now I'm gonna go back to the outfit and we're gonna go to the tops, edit texture, and I'm gonna right click on this texture here and click export. And I'm gonna save this to my desktop as shirt B-Roid one. And now I'm gonna open Photoshop, which is where I'm gonna edit my shirt. You can use Clip Studio Paint. You can use any drawing program you're comfortable with using. We're gonna go ahead and open the exact file that we saved. So shirt B-Roid one in Photoshop. And just to check, I'm gonna look here to see which one is the front and the back. Okay, so the top is the front. And we're just gonna do a cute little graphic here. So I'm gonna use my drawing tablet. Okay, so now we have our shirt in Photoshop ready to go. And I'm gonna draw a little design. Once you finish that, you can go to File, Export, Quick PNG, save it as a PNG. We're just gonna replace it with the one that's already there, click Yes, and then we're gonna pop back over to VRoid Studio. Now we're gonna right click on Default Design, Import, and then we're gonna select the shirt. And there we go, so we have a similar shirt but I kind of went with my own direction, own design. There's some stuff I could see I might be able to edit, like this arm I think is a bit too far up. I think the top of this could use a little bit more blending as well. And you can also edit and draw directly in here. I like to use Photoshop because it is what I'm most comfortable with and when I feel my where I feel my drawing skills are the strongest. I can just come in here and kind of like blend this out a little bit. I want it to look a bit better and I don't want to like pull it ba all the way back into Photoshop, right? So I'm just doing a little bit of a paint over here to get a little bit more blending going on. And I'm also gonna turn off the shade color for now because I kind of did my own shading so we don't really need that then. And next I'm gonna do the skirt. So we're gonna go ahead and click this X and then click save as new item. So then I'll have that shirt and then I can switch to that shirt for any character or model in the future as well, which is super nice. And then we're gonna go to bottoms and we're gonna go to edit texture. And then same thing, we're gonna right click export and we'll just put skirt. Vroid. Save that and then we're gonna go to file, open in a drawing program and open the skirt texture. And now let's get ready to replicate and do a bit of a similar design to the one that we are taking inspiration from. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and export this when it's ready. Click export and we're just gonna replace the skirt again. Click save, yes, switch back to Vroid Studio. We're gonna right click import and import that skirt. And there we go. Again, probably some areas that could use a little bit of work in fixing. I'm gonna grab this yellow actually and I kinda wanna make it brighter yellow. We're going to turn off base color so then it's using my colors and the shade color again as well because I kind of did my own thing there. Then we're going to click X, click save as new item. All right and now she's at an area I like. I'm going to leave the converse for now but if you want to edit something like the shoes it's a very similar process to what we did with the shirt and the skirt and pretty much for any texture that you want to edit the skin anything along those lines. Okay so now we have a basic model that I really like. We're gonna go up to this little button here, click export as a VRM. And once you're in this screen, you're gonna click export and we're gonna name, I'll just call her, call her Cinnamon. And I'll put creator is by Madeline. We can skip the others for now if you're just ready to export it and go ahead and click export. And I'll save her somewhere I'll remember, like my desktop. Okay, awesome. Congrats on making your model. Now we're gonna move to the next part where we convert this model to a VRChat model. 
which is gonna be a super simple and easy process. Let's do it. As a side tip, your model is considered a .VRM model, which is important to know if you wanna do any in-depth editing or modeling with programs like Blender or Maya later down the line as you grow as an avatar creator. Step number two is to download VRChat's Creator Companion and create a project. Back in the day, it used to be a bit harder to upload an avatar to VRChat. There were more steps involved needing to make sure you always had an updated version of their tool called an SDK, which would require read downloads and the restructuring of projects and more shenanigans. Now that we're in the future! VRChat created the Creator Companion, which allows for easy updates and a much smoother process for adding additional packages and add-ons depending on your goals. This is what will allow you to manage your avatar and your project for VRChat. Next, you'll click Create a Project and select Unity 2022 Avatar Project. Make sure to name it and select Create Project. Next, you'll need to ensure that you have the right version of Unity downloaded. Unity is a game engine that VRChat's Creator Companion allows you to link to. I'm using Unity 2022.3.22 F1 for this. In the top right hand corner of the Creator Companion, it should let you know which version of Unity you currently need. And I'll leave a link down below if Creator Companion is not prompting you for whatever reason. Step number three is to add the VRM Converter for VRChat package to your project. Next, you'll want to click the settings in your Creator Companion, go to Packages, scroll to the bottom, and add this repository link. Add this to your project as the model we made in VRED Studio is a VRM, like I mentioned, and will need to be converted to work properly for VRChat. Once you have this added, you can open up your project. Step number four is to add your VRM model and convert it to a VRChat avatar. Once Unity is open, make sure to log into your VRChat account by opening up the VRChat SDK and clicking Control Panel and then log in. After that, you can drag and drop the VRM file or the model you created into the Assets folder, drop it in this big gray area here, Unity will start setting everything up. Then you'll click on the model in the project, go up to the tab that says VRM0 and select Duplicate and Convert for VRChat. Make sure to save your project and click OK. Next, we'll edit the viewpoint to make sure that when you're in VR, that you're seeing out of your avatar's eyes correctly. To do this, we'll select on our avatar in the hierarchy. In the inspector, scroll down and find View Position and edit it so that it sits right between your eyes and slightly out. You can always come back and edit this later. Click return after you're done. Step number five is to upload your avatar to VRChat. Finally, you'll navigate to the Builder tab and fill out all this information. You can also choose the thumbnail if you have character art. This is a fun place to put that. Once you're done with that, scroll all the way down, click the check in this box, and build and publish. After the build is successful, you can hop over to VRChat. Step number six is to switch to your avatar in VRChat. It's time! Finally, you can log into VRChat with your VR headset. I'm using the Vive XR Elite and the Ultimate Trackers, which is a great way to go wireless for VRChat. Then you'll go to your avatars and select Uploaded to find the one you just made, and you can switch to the avatar. And ta-da, everything should be working great. Now, if you love building avatars, the next step I recommend in your creator journey is learning how to create worlds. Check out this video next to begin learning how to upload your own world to VRChat.